So it's one of the first real days of spring here in Uppsala and I'm taking the opportunity to walk to work. And that also gives me the chance to talk a bit to you. And maybe this could be a good opportunity to talk about, whoops, bike. So maybe this could be a good opportunity to talk to you about fighting for your right to play. So today I will hold a guest lecture and quite often when people ask me to hold guest lectures they want me to talk about gamification which is interesting because in a way I don't believe in gamification. I think it works, sort of, but most of the time when people talk about it, it's really dark here. I think it works, sort of. But most of the time when people ask me to talk about gamifications, it's the commercial people believing what I call, or a lot of people call, PBL, or points, badges, and leaderboards. And this is such a simplified view of what games are. Because if you talk about PBL, if you talk about points, badges, and leaderboards, your focus is already then on the game in itself. And I'm not interested in games. People believe I am, but I'm not that, actually not that interested in games. What I am interested in is uh, playing. So how people play. And, and if you switch your view from looking at games to looking at people playing those games, you see completely different things. Can you hear that? They are blowing the leaves away. There is spring arriving, there is summer slowly coming and all this snow disappearing, which is really nice. <laughs> the winter in Sweden is really long and really cold and I don't like it at all. This is one of the best times of the year to be in Uppsala. If you're from other places, I don't think you realize what a big difference it can be between summer and winter. Since we're so far north, the days get long, really long. So, in the winter when I go to work it's dark outside and when I get back home from work it's dark outside. Now it's the opposite, it's still sunny and it's gonna be sunny when I get home. So it's like the whole country wakes up. Anyway, if you do change your view from looking at uh, games to looking at play, you see different things. And one of the things you realize is just smacking a game system or a point system on top of something is not going to work. If you want someone to switch off the light bulb when they enter the room and they get a point for it, you're sure they would get a point for it. And that might work for a while. But it's not what's going to keep them switching off that light bulb. So if you want to use a game system for some form of gamification, for some kind of reasons, except for itself. It needs to be fun for its own sake. It needs to be fun to play. Because the reason for you to continue playing that game is because you like the game. It's not because you get a point for the system. Uh, if you look at the game studies, uh, one of the things people talk about is, is the difference between extrinsic and intrinsic rewards. So that point is an extrinsic reward, it's something that, that you get from the system, um, just because. Well, an intrinsic reward is something that you get for yourself, a feeling of good or a feeling of fun or a feeling of whatever, something that you do because you want to. And I believe it's super important to think about these things when doing gamification, because most of the time we just we take the situation and then we treat it with a game system on top of it instead of actually thinking about what's fun here. And doing that destroys the playing, it destroys the game. So if you're going to use games, then you need to understand games. This is what I wanted to call it, uh, fighting for your right to play, because I think it's super important that we actually see the, the play values as important in, in themselves. We should, we should play because we like to play. And that's something we've been doing all through history. It's, the playing is, is, is a really old force. It's, I mean, you see it in animals. You can see a kitten play. 
And you know they are playing, they are doing this, and they don't even have a culture, so it's older than culture. And therefore I think it's super important that they think about those values, the, the value of play and the things we can learn from play or the things we can, the feelings we get and, 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 and those kind of things. And that's what we should use when we do gamification. We should not gamify just to get a point for switching off the light, which happens way too often. All right, hope you listen. I'm going to go for the lecture and then I might talk a bit more to you. That's it for now. And if you like this, please look at one of my other videos and also subscribe for a new channel. Subscription is one of the most important things to be able to continue. So it doesn't cost you that much, but it would mean the world to me. The subscription button is down below, so please just click it and I will see you next time.